Hey guys, I'm Tom, AKA Tom Foodery, and this is Fill the Frame, the show where we take you to some of the best restaurants in the UK, soon to be world, and give you tips on how to take amazing food photography using just your phone. We've got Dan on the camera. Say hi to the people, Dan. Yeah. Uh, and today we are on Park Street in Bristol, which is a massive hill, but with loads of amazing restaurants. We're gonna head to three of them. Let's go check out number one. Honey. 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 It's time to kick this food tour off, Honey. and there is no better place Honey. than Pizza Rover right behind me. Honey. These guys serve up authentic sourdough based pizzas. And the best thing is you get to pick your toppings yourself. There's none of this pepperoni, bloody Hawaiian rubbish. Build your own and I love it. Let's head in and take some pizza port. So we've got my three pizzas, my first shot. This one's gonna be the subject, but I'm gonna use all of the pizzas to fill the frame. And it just looks like one epically long train of pizzas. This one right here. <laughs> so I've got a comrade to help me, uh, just quickly to hold these pizzas. My next shot is gonna be a handheld like this, and that looks great. You know what, Dan? I'm gonna take this outside. Follow me outside. So I actually like to take a lot of my food photography outside. The lighting's much better. It does allow you to kind of play with depth of field a little bit more. You can just take much more, you know, much different shots than you can inside. And that looks great. Look how beautiful this looks. Oh! I love Pizza Rover, and this is the brand new special out today. Pair on a pizza mind. Oh, mm. So when you come to Pizza Rover, and you should, you have to get the chili jam. Oh my God. Sweet, spicy. So good. So we've come to the top of Park Street now to check out Waki Co, which is one of my favorite Asian restaurants in the whole of Bristol. We're here specifically to try their ramen and take an epic noodle pool shot, which always goes down an absolute storm on the ground. So let's head in, check these guys out. Got your drone sauce, please. Before you move your noodles for your ramen pull shot, make sure you've got all of your overhead shots and close-up shots, because once you move those noodles, you're never gonna get this beautiful bowl of food back. Fill the frame. All three dishes, super close up. Boom. This is how I've shot one of my all-time favorite Instagram food photos. I was on my own, so I set up my camera, my, my phone in a tripod just like this, and then use this, which is a remote shutter, to control the camera by Bluetooth. I'm gonna talk you through it. This is how you take an epic noodle pool shot on your own with ramen. Oh, that part's too loud. I'm pressing the shutter with my teeth to take the photos. Just took about 10 shots. I'm gonna edit one of those up, see how good this looks. This Korean fried chicken ramen is up there with my favorite ramen ever, anywhere. Oh, it's so good. No ramen is right without a big dollop of chili oil. There is no greater way of eating noodles on camera. But here it goes. Mmm, so good. This is why Waki Co has had three restaurants in about 18 months. took the deepest breath then and I haven't got a clue what I was gonna say. <laughs> and last but not least, we have Mrs. Pot's Chocolate House. If you haven't seen these guys on Instagram, then, well, you probably haven't been on Instagram because they're everywhere. Every foodie I know has at least one shot of Mrs. Pot's Chocolate House. And that's because it's bloody epic. Chocolate cake, chocolate, hot chocolate, chocolate milkshakes, chocolate cookies. Let's just head in because you need to see this. 
So we've got this incredible looking milkshake and I'm going to pick my background. So I think this, wind, this wall looks best, really nice contrast. We've got a nice long glass. So if we come from above, go nice and close in, fill the frame. What we do is we create a depth of field so that the bottom looks smaller, the top looks bigger, and that gives the illusion that this is bigger or, or longer than it is. So I've got all of our stuff on the tray. So I'm gonna take some shots of this on the tray, then I'm gonna move it all off, put it onto the table, move it around a little bit, and then I've got two shots using exactly the same products. Now, you've seen a burger tray shot before. Have you ever seen a chocolate tray shot as good as that? We've moved all the stuff off of the tray, onto the table, moved it around a little bit, and it looks like a completely different shot. Again, storing up content on the phone for a later date. I just can't wait to eat it now. <laughs> This is why I love my job. Look at this lot. It's the only one I haven't tried yet. Oh my word. That's got a ganache in the middle, is that right? In the middle, yeah. I'm glad he's there. That is incredible. This, I've had a number of times in salted caramel cake. And look how big it is. I don't know what to say. Dan, you're gonna have to get involved, mate, because it's gonna be gone. And that's it. Episode two of Fill the Frame. I am as stuffed as I was at number one. Huge thanks and big ups to Pizza Rover for those three flipping amazing pizzas. The pair. <whistles> Huge thanks also to Wacky Co for the ramen and to Mrs. Potts for that incredible spread of chocolate. Just FYI, Mrs. Potts are opening in Bath soon, so if you're in and around the area or visiting, check them out. And big ups to Dan, the cameraman, who will show his face at some point. I'll get him, episode three, that's a promise. As always, hit that subscribe button, like it, and then please tell us in the comments if there's anything, uh, any restaurants you want us to go to, any food you want us to cover, any apps you want us to use, anything whatsoever, and we will deliver. That was a bit hyper, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, they serve up the lip. <laughs> Oh, ah, fuck's sake, fucked it up. What do I say? Fill the three. Fill. <laughs> How now, brown cow? Is that what they do? How now, brown cow? This is a bus stop. This is never going to work. <laughs> Let's go. Hey guys, I'm. Vegan, is it? No, it's not vegan. Fuck's sake. Which is a fucking massive hill in Bristol, for God's sake. <laughs>